This place is rather gloomy. Why don't you lighten the mood for us while we're here then? <laughs> I'll see what I can do. Hey. Hmm? There's someone here. Is that a girl? You're awfully noisy. Who are you? I'd like to know the same thing. Who are you? And why are you in such a place? Answering a question with another question? Uh, Let me guess. You got swallowed by a Zoogle too? I was invited, actually. Invited, huh? Is that what we're calling getting swallowed? Hmm, this really is a strange place. Hey, don't ignore me! It's a different domain, too. The air is pure and clean, without any trace of malevolence. At the same time, it isn't stable either. This world is suffused with a power that's familiar, yet also completely different from any I know. I'd gotten my hopes up for a moment. Unfortunately, my brother doesn't seem to be here, as far as I can tell. I'm sorry, what were you just saying? Listening in on a young girl's private musings, are we? How very gauche. It was just an honest question. Another question? Ugh, this is why I don't like humans. Humans? Look, my name's Alfin. What would it take to get a straight answer out of you? Hmm. Try saying, pretty please, Miss Edna. Then I might be more inclined to talk. Pretty please, Miss Edna. I'm as in the dark as you are. I knew it. She's full of herself. That said, yes, I guess there's just one other option, isn't there? All of you, against me. Head to head in a no-holds-barred battle. Wait, what? Does the idea of beating up a frail, waifish young girl give you pause? I'm simply looking for a way back, you know. Can't you just use the gate we took to get here? Perhaps, if she were from our world. That gate bridges this place with our realm. If she is referring to another realm entirely, then that changes things. Okay, but even if you are from another world, how does it follow that we have to fight you for you to get home? I figure a way out might emerge when your powers clash with my seraphic arts. Are you sure about this? 
You worry too much. Tell you what, if you can defeat me, I'll answer another one of your questions. Is it really okay to fight a little girl? I wouldn't worry about that. Dorling's right. Sometimes appearances can be deceiving. Here, let me help. First! Shooting star! It's about to strike! Look sharp, everyone! Zephyr Trident! Alpha! This ends now! Consider yourself finished! Are you hurt? Hardly. Are you a monster? No, not a monster. Just Edna. Looks like there's still no way out. Time for you to uphold your end of the deal and answer our question. Although, we already know she's not from the same world as ours. You were saying something about your brother earlier. Is he here too? It's complicated. Answer the question, lady. You don't give up, do you? Tell you what, since you beat me, I'll do you a favor. What's this? It's something I found when I arrived here. You might have a use for it. And what are you going to do? I was just wondering the same thing. I guess I'll have to study this place a bit further. What are you hoping to find? Oh, wait, don't tell me. That's too many questions. I can appreciate a being with basic deductive reasoning skills. Well done. I need to be stronger. I'm the only one here. I just found myself here with no explanation. What's this? A Zoogle? Good question. It seems both familiar and not. This is yet another world, I take it. Hold on. That Edna girl we ran into in the last world. She was saying something about a brother, right? Wait, you think this creature is her brother? Could this be part of the researcher's work? I guess this won't go like it did with Edna. It doesn't seem like it has a mind of its own either. Should we just take it out? You're overthinking this. It's just some random monster. Look out! Edna, forgive me! <sighs> you know what? I'm starting to miss having no sense of pain. It's freezing. Immunity to pain doesn't equal an immunity to sickness, you know. I get the distinct impression we've met these things before. They look pretty tough. Please be careful, everyone. Not for nothing, but is there any magical way to tell if these things have keys on them or not? Magic isn't a tool for finding lost trinkets. Come on, fighting should help warm me up anyway. They look similar, all right. The way the color's different. It must be tied to their elements somehow. In that case, I call dibs on the red one. Who are you people? Oh, it's gotta be him for sure, right? Same hair color. It's a pretty safe bet. Hey! 
I'm standing right here, you idiots. The brother seems rather uncouth. There's only one person who gets to call me brother, and it isn't you. Now, how do you know Edna? If you mean the girl with the parasol, we ran into her just a while ago. You did, huh? So she's nearby? In that case, it's best I don't stick around. Besides, I've got a ship to hurry up and get back to. Wait, you're avoiding your own sister? Why? So she won't get caught up in the Reaper's curse. Huh? You know, I kinda like you. If I'd known you'd turn out to be this cool, I'd have asked your sister more about you. Did she get that whole, I'll answer one question if you beat me thing from you? Excuse me? Just what did you do to my sister? We fought and defeated her in combat. Wait. So you're saying you hurt her? Better brace yourselves then. Cause nobody lays a hand on my sister. None of you are leaving this place alive. Whoa, settle down. We didn't have much of a say in the matter. There's no reasoning with big brothers. My own used to go off in a fury anytime someone made me cry. You're not helping, Kisara. Just fight the guy. Here he comes. Edna wouldn't listen to reason either. Must run in a family. Miguel never used to let being outnumbered keep him from a challenge. Kisara, please come back. Ready to die? Whatever comes to this, this is just the first step. You are gonna pay for that. In killing you! Dragon shell! Dragon howling! Alvin! This ends now! Consider yourself finished! And that's the long and short of it. Oh, I see. So she asked you to fight her. I hope that was a suitably satisfactory explanation. Yeah, I get the picture. You guys are pretty good in a fight, too. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. But you're still not off the hook for hurting her. You already said that. Still, maybe it was my fault. It could be I was close enough for her to get caught up in the Reaper's curse. I doubt this Reaper's curse you speak of has any meaningful influence here, in this convergence of worlds. After all, this place still technically rests upon our realm's soil. Makes sense. In that case, maybe... Nah. Do you still feel awkward about seeing your sister? <sighs> Here, you guys can have this. I'm gonna do my own thing. Hmm. If Edna's here, maybe I should clean up a bit. Oh, it's you guys again. I see you and your brother found each other. You could say that. Technically, you couldn't. After all, it's not like my brother arrived where I was by choice. <clears throat> In the end, we only met because it was a coincidence. It leaves me at my wit's end, really. Edna, look. Even if all this did somehow lead to you coming back to me after we return to our world, the brother I know always stands at the helm of his own ship. When it comes to brothers, they can make choices that seem a bit selfish sometimes. What really matters is whether you have faith in them. My brother would hardly be swayed by such extenuating circumstances. So for now, I guess I'll just have to enjoy this time while it lasts. Edna told me all about it, you know. You tried to rush her as a group, didn't you? 
I don't like where this is going. Technically, I never actually let you guys off the hook. However, I'll hear you out. If you can withstand the power of our bond as siblings. What does their sibling bond have to do with... He's talking about showing us how much they mean to each other. Like me and Magal used to do. If that's something I can give them, then I won't back down. The Kisora? Challenge accepted. This will be a good chance for me to sever my ties with the past. You used to be such a little pipsqueak. You've grown strong. You have no idea how to compliment a lady, do you? Not only that, you're as precious as ever. That punch-crazy idiot said something during the fight. Ma, you're the last person that gets to call someone a punch-crazy idiot. Who cares? Just focus! Just no further! You actually stood up to the both of us together. I'm impressed. I'll accept my loss gracefully and not put on any airs. You're passable. I'll grant you that much. If that's not putting on airs, what is? In truth, it might have been a different outcome entirely if we had fought you in your realm. Our victory is certainly no reason for conceit. Absolutely. You were both worthy opponents. I'd hardly call that resounding praise. Still, thanks for giving us this time together. Edna... Judging from the way you're talking, are you from the same world, but different times? I suppose we are. I'd sooner not bore you with the tedious details, though. I don't know the hows or whys of it, but this is some kind of warped space that connects different worlds and times. Its existence has much to do with a mistake born of our own world. I apologize for dragging you into this mess. Hey, I got to see my sister. You know what they say about dark clouds and silver linings. You need this, right? Go on, take it. You could always tag along with us if you wanted. You guys would definitely liven things up. I appreciate the offer. But we've got business of our own to take care of back home. I'm going back eventually. But in the meantime, I've got tons of catching up to do. I'm not sure we'll even get to keep our memories from here after we leave, but... I'm glad I got to see my brother. So am I. I can feel my precision improving. Now that we're finally talking, I'm not sure what to say. Some things just can't be conveyed with pen and paper. Humans, here of all places. Is he floating? That's not a person. He's more like a mass of astral energy. That sounds a lot like a great astral spirit. How predictable, applying simple-minded molds to others. I doubt he's a great astral spirit, but there is something alien about him. If anything, you're alien to your own realm. Uh. You feign comfort with fate, all the while bearing claws at destiny. You remind me of a certain race. A race that struggles even as they destroy multitudes of worlds. Worlds that devour multitudes of energy. Disgraceful, all of it. Sounds like someone has it in for us. Say, there's supposed to be six keys, right? And this is the sixth area. This must be our last stop. Be careful. This one's not like the others we've run into. 
You know, Edna mentioned being invited here. I'd figured it was the researchers doing, but what if there was something else in play? You think this guy's behind it all? That's anyone's presumption. Somehow I doubt he'd give us a straight answer if we asked. I'll give you the courtesy of my name. I am the great spirit Kronos, ruler of time and space. And now I shall demonstrate my power. Here it comes! I've never felt power so potent before. Feels like I'll be crushed by a force. You didn't come all this way just to lose now. Luckily, we've got power of our own. Termination. To be judged. Such unadulterated power me. I've got a bad feeling about this. Well, it's been swell knowing you guys. We have to stop it. Whatever it takes. It's time to draw close the curtain. The tragedy of your life has reached its end. Chrono erosion. Heal my weary companion. Eat dirt. Cure. Here no go. way. He's going to annihilate everything. A power beyond mortal understanding. It's time to draw close the curtain. The tragedy of your life has reached its end. Chrono erosion. Not my finest. I'm ready. Far enough. Where are you going? This one's got your name on it! Pass to us! What quaint arts you use. He's healing? Not quite. I turned back time, to be precise. You really do control time and space. Was this place something you made? It was not I who made it. Nor was it Origin or Maxwell. So there's a world unrelated to the three primordial great spirits. Primordial? Do you mean to tell us you have the power to create worlds? You may make of me what you will. Another great spirit, and another fine mess. I strongly recommend that research into doorways through time and space should be strictly forbidden. <sighs> but what are rules to a species that insists on ignoring history's lessons? The people of your realm will learn of this place, and they will use it to rob and exploit other worlds. That's... They are driven by pure desire. They fob off their burdens on others, all without reflecting upon what comes of it. To hell with this. We've torn down every barrier in front of us, but we know better than to call it good there. We'll build a world where people can coexist and walk hand in hand, and we won't give up until we do. Yeah. We're ready to put in the work to change. I'll make sure this research gets called off. You have my word on that. I suppose this is another trait that your species shares. I will remain here for a time. See to it that this absurd research is ended. All right, Kronos. We understand. And know this. If anyone attempts to abuse the Gateway, to interfere with our world. I will cast them into the time-space rift, where they will wander the void forevermore. No arguments here, pal. We'll see to it that that never happens. You'll see, from up there on your throne. I'm even stronger than before. A bird? <laughs> huh. He likes birds. Somehow I'm both surprised and not.
<laughs> I guess... Well... Whew. Right. Huh? Yes! All this gate and key stuff is about, but you've got to be a little crazy to do research inside a Zoogle's stomach. I don't care what he gets up to on his own time. I'm just glad nothing crazy came out of all that in the end. He was trying to bridge together dimensions. That in itself is rather ludicrous, I would argue. Still, Aizen, was it? It seems like that was the first he'd seen of his sister all grown up. In that respect, I'm glad it worked out for him. Everything has a silver lining if you look hard enough. Doesn't change the fact that his little experiment was real dangerous. Look at it from his perspective. I know if I got to see family I thought I never would again, that'd make me really happy too. Truth be told, I'm with Kisara on this. The ability to see those that you're afraid you've lost, even one more time. I hope it works out for them. There was also that Kronos guy we met at the end. Rather less charming. What do you think his deal was? Yeah, he had those weird ears sticking out. It's impossible to say whether he's like us or not. However, if we're to judge by his strength and appearance, he is clearly no ordinary being. And what he said to Xion was just... that was so awful. He most likely has his reasons for believing in what he does, even if they come from a very different place than what we ourselves know. He didn't seem to be too harsh on anybody who wasn't human, though. It was all so strange. I wonder if we'll ever get to meet anybody else from other dimensions. Who can say? If we do, I pray it will be somebody more friendly. I can only fight every newcomer that we meet for so long. It'd be nice to get a surprise ally every once in a while.